Is your organic chemistry final just around the corner? I'm talking three weeks, five weeks, or even seven weeks. Your final is worth a good percentage of your organic chemistry grade and covers a lot of material from the beginning of the semester. So are you worried, knowing that it's coming up and how much you have to cover, that you may not be ready when the time comes to do your best? I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do starting now to make sure that when finals roll around, you are ready, you are prepared, and you are confident that you're going to ace your exam. But why should you listen to me? My name is Leah Fish. I'm a United States Navy veteran and the founder and creator of LeahForSci.com and the Leah for Sci tutorial videos on YouTube. With over 200 YouTube videos viewed nearly 7 million times by students just like yourself looking to understand organic chemistry concepts, reactions, mechanisms, and so much more. I've also been tutoring organic chemistry for many years and have helped thousands of students understand the information and get through the course. So if you're scared about your upcoming final and not sure that you can make it, well, I've been there. I know what it's like to struggle and I know what it's like to bomb an organic chemistry exam. But I also know what it's like to come back strong and ace your class and that's what I'm going to show you. So if your final is three weeks, five weeks, or seven weeks away, simply trying to start now and opening your books is not enough. Sure, you can start getting through the material, hoping and praying that by the time your exam rolls around, you're done, but that's a guessing game. And with something as important as your orgo grade, your GPA, your transcript, you can't afford to guess, you have to be sure. So the first strategy I'm going to teach you is the backwards calendar. Instead of picturing yourself here and knowing that you have to go all the way up to here for your final exam, that goal is daunting, it's far away, it's hard to reach. Forget that. Instead, I want you to think of your goal here. It's the day of your exam. You are ready. You are confident. You know that you are going to get every question right. But if that's the day of your exam, what does that mean for the day before the exam, the day before that, a week prior, another week prior? Where do you have to be every step before your exam to make sure you reach your goal? So instead of looking at your goal as something in the future, I want you to picture yourself as being at your goal, looking down, looking back to where you were, and then making sure that you're there every step of the way. So here's how we're going to do it. I want you to pause the video and grab a pen, paper, calendar, and your final exam date. I want you to figure out how many weeks you have till your exam and mark it down on one single calendar. So for example, if your exam is in five weeks, don't do a calendar for month one for the first few weeks and a calendar for month two. Because as you're going through that first month, you're subconsciously relaxed because even though you have a few weeks, your exam is until next month. So you cross out the days, you cross out the days, you get to the last day of that calendar, you flip the page, and bam, your exam is right there, two, three, five, even 12 days away, and it hits you, and you're not ready. Don't do that. Instead, I want you to write it all on one single calendar, just working down the weeks till your exam. And this way, you always know exactly where you are, where you need to be, and how much time remains. Now here's what you want to do. Figure out exactly what you need to cover for your exam. That means how many chapters, how many practice quizzes and practice exams you want to go through. How long it'll realistically take you to get through it all and compare that to the time you have left. So if you have a cumulative Organic Chemistry 1 final covering 12 chapters with 40 days to go, give yourself approximately 3 days per chapter. But if you have just 13 days to go, you'll need to give yourself one day per chapter. Let's take a look at two examples, one with a shorter calendar and one with a longer calendar, and then you can use this information to craft your own personal calendar, making sure that you're ready for your exam in your required time frame. Let's take a look at a three-week plan, which assumes that you have a final exam in three weeks, and let's say it's covering a total of 13 chapters. Now with three weeks to go, I'm assuming that you're already studying for finals, but just in case, let's see what it would take to cover every single chapter in a reasonable amount of time to make sure that you're ready when the final comes around. 
here's a quick calendar that doesn't look at months individually but rather looks at an entire four week period we're going to assume that we're starting on a Tuesday and that the final exam is also on a Tuesday in addition to making sure that you've studied for the final there are a couple more key features that you have to put into your calendar this includes a rest day the final exam is not a day to be catching up. The day of your final exam is a panic day where you say, uh oh, I think I forgot something, and you go back and review that, having already studied all that information. The day before your final should be a catch up day. And that's because no matter how strategically you plan, something is going to come up. And if you fall behind, you don't want to be catching up on the day of the final. You want to build in a day to catch up so that you're still not going to stress out. And you'll also need an exam review day. Studying and reviewing is great, but unless you give yourself a day to really tie things together, then you may not be as well prepared. So that exam review day would be going through practice finals, practice quizzes, practice exams, and just making sure that you're comfortable tying the concepts together. This leaves me with 18 days and 13 chapters to go. So we can't really do a chapter every other day, but if we do a chapter a day, there's extra time. So here's what I'm going to recommend. Do one chapter a day, and then every two or three days, give yourself a review day so that you do nothing but practice questions. And this way, you're making sure that you understand the information before moving on to the next chapter. Review days are also great if you have to study for other topics, spend time with family, or just do other things that have come up in life. So let's say we'll do chapter one and chapter two. This will be a review day. Chapter three, chapter four, another review day. Chapter five, chapter six, another review day. Chapter seven, chapter eight, review. Chapter nine, chapter 10, review. Chapter 11, chapter 12, review, and chapter 13. If you follow a schedule like this, you're not overwhelming yourself. You're not trying to accomplish too much in a single day. And there's always breathing room in between the chapters to make sure that you really understand before you move on to the next step. So by now you should have it completely listed out, including the date of your final exam, the number of weeks remaining, and which specific chapters you have to cover and master every single day. But what about the rest of the course? Every single concept, reaction, and mechanism covered this semester from day one leading up to your final. Would it help you if I was able to teach you every single topic, breaking down the logic, the why, and the how for concepts, reactions, mechanisms, with practice problems, questions, and explanations along the way? Do you think that would help you understand the material in a way that you're able to apply it later and help you check off those topics on your calendar, showing you that yes, you are making progress. If you answered yes to any of those questions, I wanna invite you to join me for an online organic chemistry bootcamp crash course, where I will teach you the entire curriculum from start to finish. For more details, visit orgobootcamp.com. Now let's take a look at a five week plan and we'll make it a little more exciting. Let's say we're covering 15 chapters on a cumulative final. Here we have another calendar for six weeks. Again, we're not looking at the months as much as the specific time remaining till your exam on one page so you can see everything together. I haven't put in dates in the last one because that'll be up to you. So just put in a tiny little date in the corner once you have it set up to match your schedule and your final date. For this example, again, we're looking at a starting day of Tuesday and a final also on a Tuesday. We have a total of five weeks and we're looking at 15 chapters. 15 chapters for a cumulative final is going to require a little more time because the more information you cover, the more safety time you want to build in. Make sure that you have a catch up day. And for this one, I'm going to do two exam review days because with 15 chapters and five weeks to go, you want to give yourself two days to review exams. And that way, as you're going through the exam, if you find you're not comfortable with something, you can afford the time to go back and review that topic. That leaves us with quite a bit of time to go. 
31 days and 15 chapters. So we're looking at an average of about one chapter every two days. But if we're spending two days on a chapter, that includes study, learning, and review. So the review should be built in with that chapter. But that only gets us to 30 days, so we're going to take a day off. You need a breather somewhere in the middle. So let's make this day a random breather. It's the weekend. Go party. Go hang out with your friends. Go do something to give you a break. And then continue with your studying so that you're refreshed and ready to go. So let's go ahead and break this up. We'll do chapter one. I'll just put in numbers here so the number will represent the chapter. Chapter one, one in review. Two, two in review. Three, three in review. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breather, nine again. Ten, eleven. Second day for eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And here we go, 15 chapters, two days per chapter with time to review, a breather day so that you can collect your sanity and then you have time to review exams, catch up, and the day of the final you can relax and just take the day easy, make sure you sleep, make sure you eat, and do well on your exam. Great, so now you have your calendar. I want you to let me know in the comments below when you're taking your exam, if it's covering Orgo 1, Orgo 2, or a cumulative final, and what specifically worries you the most about the exam. So leave that in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.